Well, hey, this is Josh Nelson with Seven Figure Agency, uh, where we train you on how to build a seven figure local internet marketing agency by positioning yourself as the expert in your niche. And on this video, I want to walk you through the process of conducting keyword research. Um, in order to, to sell internet marketing services effectively, you have to go into the presentation um, prepared with due diligence done, being able to show your client, here's what we think the most important keywords are, here's where you're ranking right now, and as a result, be able to say, hey, you're missing out on a big opportunity, and here is how you can bridge the gap. makes it very easy to, to present and sell local internet marketing and SEO services. So in order to do that, you have to ha understand how to run keyword research for your client or for your prospect. And so on this video, I want to walk you through the process of conducting that, that keyword research. I've got a worksheet that you can download that will help guide you through this process. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to put together a list of the most obvious keywords. And so just as an illustration, we're going to use a... Uh, we're going to use a dental company a as an example. And so the first thing you might want to do is just kind of flesh out what some of the obvious things are. And so that might be things like dentist, um, dental services, dental clinic, um, root canal, um, dental cleaning, and just get get a small list. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but just get a list of the keywords that you think are relatively obvious. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Google Keyword Planner. And that is a, a free tool provided to you by Google that helps you figure out what some of the most commonly searched keywords are. And what I'm going to recommend you do once you get into the Keyword Planner, there's a couple different items here you can search for new ideas, you can get a, a, a estimated traffic volume for those keywords. And so what you want to start with is searching for new keyword ideas. And we're just going to go back into our Word document and copy those obvious items into that research tool. And so we can type that in, run uh, Get Ideas, and Google, of course, runs Google AdWords, which sells pay-per-click advertising, and they want to give the keywords to the advertisers so they know what keywords to be bidding on. And you can go in here and say, okay, I know my, my dental prospect does root canal, so we're going to go ahead and add that. I know my prospect does emergency dental. Um, clearly, they do dental services. They're not really a dental clinic. Um, they do dental cleanings. They do dentistry. Um, dental implants, um, maybe they do dentures, let's just go down, teeth cleaning, absolutely, dental implants, teeth whitening, and you kind of go on and on, and you're going to wind up with um, a pretty thick list of potential keywords. And so once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is add all of these to your, to your list, and then go over here to keyword ideas and now you've got a pretty no, a pretty nice list of 805 keywords so what you can do is hit download all because we want to take this now into an excel file and look at it sort it figure out which of those 805 actually have potential so we're going to pull that into excel kind of open this up a little bit and just do a quick sort by search volume. So go data, sort, sort by average monthly search, largest to smallest. Now we can see dentist. They don't do dental insurance or Aspen Dental, so we'll drop that out. Uh, orthodontist, braces, affordable dentures. This helps give a good list of what the most commonly searched dental related keywords are. And don't spend too much time with this. I mean, you could really spend hours going through all of this, but this, this gives you a pretty decent idea 
um, of what the keywords are. And you want to go in and you want to remove things like that obviously a dentist wouldn't need to show up for dentist salaries, etc. But what we can do now is we can take these main words, dentist, root canal, affordable dentures, dentist near me, uh, veneers, dental hygienist, etc. and copy these. We we'll go back to our worksheet and now go into this little column right here and put in what we have as our core words and then our target cities. So let's say our dentist is in Miami, Florida, but they take patients in Kendall and Pinecrest. But now we're going to have a cool little chart with our core keywords and the cities that we want to target. And we can use a tool like Merge Words, and this is a tool I like to use. So we'll just dive into Merge Words. And what's cool about Merge Words is it basically just lets you put a series of two different keywords and combine them. So our core word combined with our, our geo modifier. And so we can go down here, we can just take all of our keywords that we came up with. And I do I do expect that as you do this, you spend a little bit more time and you really hone in on on more of what the specific keywords are, but I want to show you the process, right? You go into the Google search tool, Google gives you an idea of what the keywords are, and then you can take those and combine them with the city that your client operates in. And so I'm just going into those two columns, adding them to word merger. So we've got our cities, and if you're a service area business, like a roofing company or a windows and doors company, you might have 10 or 15 cities. If you're a dentist, an auto repair shop that serves a local, you might only have one or as many as three because you're not going to pull from as wide an area. And you'll see that this, this list here combined with this now gives us 63 keyword combinations. So we can hit merge, and now we've got their city, Miami Dentist, Miami Root Canal, Miami Orthodontist, Miami Braces, Miami Affordable Dentures, Miami Dentist Near Me, Miami Wisdom Teeth, Miami Dental Implants, Miami Teeth Whitening. So we've saved ourselves a lot of time and energy by um, by doing this. And I noticed something in here, right? So let's say Aetna Dental and Humana Dental. You might want to keep those. Maybe if, if you're a dentist prospect, if you know that they serve those health plans, you might want to keep it. If not, you just take that out. You know, drop out anything that is obviously insurance related or not related to what they might do. And then... So now you've got your list of the geo-modified terms that are, are going to be pretty important to your, to your client. And then what you can do is you can go back to the search tool, go into the keyword planner, and this time ask for search estimates. So you can start over, which is this one, get search volume for new list of keywords. So we take that list of merged words and we get the search volume. And now we can sort and be able to tell the client, all right, so the most, most searched words in, inside of dentistry in your area are Miami Dentist, Miami Orthodontist, my, uh, Pinecrest Dental, Miami Periodontist, Miami Dental Implants. And you can export this right here by pressing download. So when you meet with the client, you can say, hey, look, I've done my due diligence. I found a list of the 65 most searched dental-related keywords. Um, I've run the numbers to figure out which of those keywords are most searched so we can really build your online marketing strategy around the keywords that have the most search volume. And then what you would want to do is just take this and either download it or just go right here from your, your merged list of keywords. And now you've got a list of keywords and you can take it into uh, Bright Local or some other tool to run a report and show the client exactly where they rank for those keywords.